right, guys and girls, we're back with the Donner engine here. I'll do a spot where I want to take um, the timing belt off. And we're doing, I'm going to be stripping this down to the bare block, making some videos along the way. So, normally you would take a um, change the timing belt in the car, which would involve taking the motor mount. And stuff off so in this video I'm just going to show you how to get to the timing belt and swap it uh, the first step is to take the valve cover off I've already did a video on that I'll link in the description that'll be your first step which is basically just taking the plug wires off taking the timing cover off which is five 10 millimeter bolts on the top knock it loose take it off nothing to it Okay, we're going to start with removing the upper timing cover here. You got to pull your dipstick out to access this bolt. Another bolt on the back side. They're both 10 millimeters. Okay, for the bottom cover, you're going to have to remove the dipstick too. Well, you don't really have to, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, you're also going to have to remove the crank pulley, which I've already done this, and I have a video on how to remove this easily when it's in the vehicle. And I'll link that in the description. So the dipstick tube, it's got this little clip here. Let's pop it out of the way. Give it a little wiggle, pull up, wiggle, little twist, and it's out. Okay, now it's got a uh, one, two, three, four, five. six 10 millimeter bolts which somebody was already nice enough to take that one out for me And here we got our timing belt, our timing belt tensioner, water pump. This here is our crank position sensor. It's our crank gear. Up top we have our cam gear. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead and, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and reinstall your crank bolt. Get you a 17 millimeter socket, a ratchet, breaker bar or something. And we're going to want to put this engine in time now. We're going to line up the timing marks. Now on the crank, okay, on the crank, you'll notice there's a line right here. Behind that line is a gear tooth back here. Now that gear tooth needs to line up with. It's going to be hard to see, but behind this belt, there's an arrow pointing down. Now, somebody already put their timing marks here, these white marks, or somebody else's timing marks, or they've replaced this belt before. But right here is an arrow pointing down to this gear. Now, this gear tooth that lines up with this line here. Needs to line up with that arrow. So we'll go ahead and do that. And 
system right there. And we're going to come up to our cam and make sure it is in time. Again, you can see somebody else's timing marks here. Right there. Lined up. This spoke on the cam gear says up. And what you want to do is make that come up 90 degrees with this flat surface of this back timing cover. And we're there. Now we also have a timing mark on this cam gear. There's a little line right here that lines up with an arrow. You see it here. The arrows on that back timing cover. You're lining up with this line here on this timing gear. All right, we're gonna go back down. Double check our crank pulley one more time. This line. Just lining up with our arrow. We're good there. We're good up top. Okay. Our next step is to take the tensioner loose. This is our tensioner. We've got the spring over here. Tensioner, pull up, take it off. Just like that. Alright, our tensioner is loose. You can see how it dropped down here. Our belt's loose. So we slide our belt off of the tensioner. Take the crank bolt back off. And because this position sensor is in the way, instead of taking it out, we're just going to get the belt on the pulley, slide the whole thing off. Now ordinarily what you would do is you would get a timing belt kit, it would come with a new water pump, I mean you might as well replace a water pump while you're in here when it's time to change your timing belt, and it should come with a new tensioner pulley. So the tensioner pulley go ahead and pull that bolt out Take it off. When you put your new one on, you got this pulse here. This little leg go in. Get your long leg on the other side coming out. Let your spring goes on. Put your bolt in. Don't tighten it up yet. Leave it loose. Now the water pump has four 10 millimeters. We'll go ahead and take it off. Why not? Got a new one to put on it. Take it 
take out your four bolts there. Get your rubber hammer, get ready to catch it. A little pop, pull it out. And there's your water pump. Now when you go to replace your water pump, you want to get a grass gasket scraper or something. Clean up the surface here. Put your new gasket into your new water pump. Put it right back on. Now one of these bolts is shorter. It goes down here closest to the tensioner. Torque specs. I don't know. Feel free to look them up. Let us know down in the comments. Think about it, you just want to snug them up real good. You don't want to go putting the A-bomb torque on them and snapping them. So that could be really easy to do. Okay, we're ready for our new timing belt. So you get your new belt, put it on your pulley, watch your keyway, line up your keyway, slide the pulley on. bolt back in line our timing marks back up on it right there Check our cam again, make sure cam looks good. And put a belt on our cam here. And around the water pump. And around the water pump. The tensioner. All right. 
We're gonna put our spring back on our tensioner. Through the front of that arm. Up and over that. Tighten up your tensioner. So we decided to look up our torque spec again. Put it down in the comment. That's good right there for me. And you got your timing belt put back on. All the stuff now. Put your covers and everything back on. Button it back up. The same way they came off. Just in reverse order.